Dear students, under the topic Nonlinear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problems under type 4. Here the question is z equal to xp plus yq plus p square minus q square. So the given question is of the form z equal to px plus qy plus f of p comma q which is the clear its form. In order to solve this kind of equation, we have to first find the complete integral. Let us mark the given equation as equation 1. To find the complete integral, we shall put p is equal to a and q is equal to b in equation 1. So, when we replace p as a and q as b in equation 1, we get z to be equal to, so instead of p, we have to put a, so it can be written as ax plus by plus a square minus b square. So, this gives us the complete integral. So, the next step is we have to find the singular integral for which we have to differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to a and partially with respect to b. Now, differentiating equation 2 partially with respect to a, we get dou z by dou a to be equal to. Now, when we differentiate a x, x is treated as constant, differentiation of a is 1 and so we have x. And the, this becomes 0 and the differentiation of a squared will be 2a. In a similar way, we have to differentiate it partially with respect to b. And that will be equal to, this will become 0, the differentiation of by will be, the differentiation of b is 1 and so we will have y minus, this will become 0 and minus, here we have 2b. The next step is we have to put dou z by dou a to be equal to 0. So, when we put that as 0, we have x plus 2a to be equal to 0. From this, we can find the value of a, that is 2a will be equal to, taking this x to the right, it becomes minus x. And so, the value of a will be equal to minus x by 2. In a similar way, we have to evaluate the value of b, that is, we have to put dou z by dou b to be equal to 0. So, y minus 2b will be equal to 0 from which 2b will be equal to y and so b will be equal to y by 2. So, we have got the value of a and b. Now, we have to take this value of a and b and substitute in our complete integral that is equation 2. So, what we get is z is equal to. So, z is equal to. Now, here instead of a, we have to replace it by minus x by 2. So, a multiplied with x which gives us minus x by 2 multiplied with x is x minus x squared by 2. And then b is y by 2. So, y by 2 multiplied with y is plus y squared by 2. And then plus a square. So, plus a square is x square by 4. So, x square by 4. And then minus b square. So, minus b square is y square by 4. Now, here we can take the LCM throughout. So, z will be equal to the LCM throughout is 4. And so, here it will be 2. 2 times is 4. So, that 2 we have to multiply at the top. So, minus 2x square plus again 2. 2 times is 4. So, plus 2y square and 4 1 times so uh, 1 more x square into 1 so plus x square minus y square similarly so now in this z will be equal to that is further it will be equal to what is 2 y square minus y square it will be y square in a similar manner minus 2 x square plus x square will be minus x square divided by 4 now taking this 4 to the left it will be 4 z is equal to y square minus x square. So, this is the required solution that is the singular integral for the given problem. So, we have found the singular integral and as well as the complete integral that is first we found the complete integral and in the complete integral we eliminated the arbitrary constants a and b and we have obtained the singular integral. So, hope you have understood this problem. This is one of the significant problem in the examination point of view. In our next video, we will solve problem 7. Thank you.